Hello friends, welcome to this fourth video of this key clock series. So in the further video we have seen how we have done the installation, how we have created the client, we learned about uh, roles and permissions, we learned about uh, users, users mapper and all. Okay, in this uh, video we are going to learn about uh, groups. Okay, what is actually a group, how it is different from uh, roles and permission and all, we will see. So for before starting this video, I have created a users. It's like uh, three users are there. First is CEO, manager, and B2B test. Okay, and we can see no roles mapping. Nothing is uh, no group. Nothing is there on all the users. I can show no role mapping. Nothing is there. Okay, and uh, for me the roles is actually a it's a way to segregate users and to apply roles and permission to a group of user instead of uh, applying manually applying to every users okay and let me create a couple of groups like management is a group name employee and manager so three groups I have created it so let me first go to the first group management so we can see here the members are there okay attributes are there and role mapping is there okay and let me add some member here like uh, manage uh, we can add CEO okay and we can add some attributes also here okay so this attribute if we add it it will be automatically uh, available on the token that we have seen the on the user okay we, let me add a like type is uh, CEO save it we can apply role also I want to apply this uh, rim role which we have uh, created we have seen in my previous video I have assigned it and if I go to the user we'll go to CEO we can see um, this is part of this uh, uh, group okay and now let me add other users also here we can add it uh, manager and uh, we can add a role mapping here we can add uh, any type of a role mapping here we have added a client mapping okay attributes like uh, i've added dob uh, value suppose 11011 uh, suppose 2000 like okay and uh, now we have seen the management for the i have added a uh, see you now let's try to get the access token and see what is there oh, password is same I kept it same okay copy okay now we have seen uh, we saw that this is automatically available okay and uh, this is available and this type is equal to CEO also is available for any user which is mapped to this group management uh, group automatically the type will be CEO okay and we can see this MS department why it is coming let's see and uh, let's see why it is coming for the CEO user okay or role mapping okay attributes group management okay role mapping uh, com department ream rules associated role yes uh, this is also mapped so that's why uh, uh, it is it is coming so it is uh, perfectly uh, okay so in this way uh, instead of mapping the attributes at the user level uh, here we have seen it uh, at the user level uh, like like doing it uh, we can if we have an 
requirement that uh, for uh, for any user which is mapped to a particular group a particular attribute should be present so uh, group is the best place to do it like uh, we have seen here attribute like a uh, type we have added it is you we can add uh, any type any attribute type uh, and we can also do the role mapping here so this gives you more advantage than uh, it is we can say uh, one more level of abstraction and uh, in this way we can uh, manage the user and manage the user roles manage the user permissions or, or we can handle the attributes uh, uh, with this approach so this is this has all advantage so in a key clock both uh, uh, client roles and all and uh, groups are available but in other uh, IAM tools like in Okta uh, only groups are available okay and with this I'm going to end this video uh, it is uh, quite uh, simple and short and uh, see you on the next video and thank you for watching